Dab dab. That's a deep dab. Um, okay, so let's see how well it works. Index fingers. You know? Oh. Look at this! Look at my bones! I'm getting electrocuted! Okay, so today we're checking out Dollars Mono. They were kind enough. I reached out to them and they were kind enough to provide a copy because they're interested because it is suitless motion tracking. And it even does face tracking as well. I haven't got into that yet, um, but from what I can tell, it's uh, something. And basically, we're going to, uh, basically, this is used a lot by, like, um, people that use um, avatars and stuff for their streams or live streams or something like that. And they kind of overlay because this can be linked directly. I use my hands a lot more when it's tracked directly into Unreal Engine and or Unity as well. But we're going to use it with C4D today because we're going to put it up to the test against something like that that costs a couple thousand dollars. And this is only a hundred dollars. And this might be all you need for some basic custom character animation. So rather than paying a subscription to, um, you know, something that has a bunch of things built in, you can actually maybe just set this up and go do it on your own real quick if you don't do a lot of short films. And maybe this is just kind of like a fun entry level point into seeing like whether you like doing uh, custom character animations or not. So basically the way it works is we hit record. It will create a BVH file animation of this, which is basically like uh, you can tell the the mic is messing with it, so don't have anything in the foreground. Makes sense. But basically, it's just going to use your camera, and that's it. That's all the equipment you need is a webcam or a camera that's hooked into your computer, and that's it. Uh, so I'm using the Osmo Pocket 3. I freaking love this camera. Basically, what a BVH file is is a skeleton animation Ooh, spooky that bring that you can just drag and drop in a c4d and then i'll show you how to quickly and easily um put that on a character in c4d because it's incredibly easy uh, which i didn't really realize uh, i kind of stayed away from character animation because i don't know much about it and i don't want to learn how to do it um but this uh, well you know this will make it a little easier, hopefully. And the other thing, we'll see. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do it. We're just gonna go test it. We just wanna make sure you've got a full frame shot. Um, you can set it up in your office, whatever, like I did. Uh, let's go try it out. And we're gonna, we're gonna try some fingers and all this stuff. Okay. Okay, see me. I'm gonna tilt up a little bit. Perfect. That's, uh, well, that's user error there. I was too fast, you know, I get that. I'm, I'm just, okay, here we are. Superhero. Hulk smash. When the mo cat dance. Okay, did it. Uh, okay, so nice, perfect, excellent. Okay, that was many nights and weekends rehearsing that performance uh, at the sacrifice of my family and social life altogether. So I think it's worth it though. Um, I really, I nailed it. I think I nailed it. It is beautiful. Okay, so let's just <laughs> bring that into C4D. And all we have to do is open up our folder where dollars mono is it's a strange name i know i don't understand it but uh, we're gonna grab that created the bvh file right there hold shift <gasps> i'm out of breath from that stellar performance and we're gonna just hold shift and drag and drop that into c4d say okay and boom there's my bones okay so our bones are here and all we need to do is twirl this down get our hips we're going to right click this and we're going to go to the rigging tag and we're going to go to character definition instead of here we're going to open up the manager and say extract skeleton now it's going to extract 45 of 64 that means something is not named properly and it didn't extract it because we should have more bones than that 
So what we need to do is go in and figure out what it was, and it's very easy to do. And the cool thing is, is once you figure it out, I think you can update it and save it as a preset so that it actually um, comes in correctly next time. So you can see here we have our left arm, four pieces, and we have two biceps, but no forearm. So if you look into the biceps, you can see we have the upper arm and the lower arm inside our bicep. We obviously don't need the lower arm in our bicep we need the left lower arm in our forearm. So we go down to our model, twirl it down, and find left lower arm, and that goes into our forearm. Same with the right arm, we'll need to do the same thing. Bicep, delete the right lower arm out of that, and drag and drop the right lower arm into that, into the forearm there. Boom, boom. Okay, and then for the fingers, we don't have a little finger. Little finger. <laughs> little finger. Ooh, uh, that. Game of Thrones. Uh, right little finger. Let's go ahead and grab that. And we're going to do the three little fingers here. Bring those in. And left little finger. We're going to grab the little proximal and the two below that and bring that in. Okay. Now for the leg, we have these screwed up as well, which is the shin has the upper leg in it. We don't want that. So for the thigh, we want the left upper leg. Boom. And for the thigh of the right, we want the right upper leg. And for the shin of the right, we don't want the right upper leg there. Now we've got all that. Save the preset as um, dollars, maybe. Okay, cool. Okay, so after that, you don't hit extract. You could just, you just leave it like this and you say set as reference pose. Click. Okay. Now, all we have to do is bring in our character. And it's pretty easy, whether it's a Mixamo character or a C4D character, we're gonna type in care, and there's our guy, boom, bing, bong, bring him in. And you can see he's rigged with a C4D skeleton. It's fine, we're gonna say zero, zero, zero. All right, and you wanna try to align their bones up as close as you can. So in order to do that, you want to toggle on the mocap there, and then say, in that character definition, you say expose on object, uh, and then we can hide the mesh and you can see our blue and red bones are the bones from the character and the green bones are our bones. So we want to try to line these up just a little bit, but that's pretty good. And we're going to see how that goes. So what we do now is inside of our character here, we can hide that and turn that back on is we have our character solver here. That's on this male puppet. And we could just twirl this down, grab the character definition that's on our skeleton, and drag and drop it into there. Now, when we hit play, we get all the craziness, but we're going to skip ahead to 584, which is about where it starts, right? And boom. Look at that. We've got character animation, even the fingers. La la la. Ra. Hulk smash. And there's a little wiggle room there. I think I could probably adjust the skeleton or the rig something ever so slightly. I also love when it goes off the page. Uh, yeah. But yeah, there it is. Character animation without a suit. Pretty straightforward. Not too shabby. Not too much work. Definitely faster than animating that in my opinion. Obviously, you know, there are some issues that I've from a learning curve to it slightly, but it's all keyframeable and editable as well. But I mean, yeah. So real quick, what if you don't have a character from that and you want to use a Mixamo character? All right, let's just grab in a T-Pose Mixamo character that we have here. So we've brought in our guy from Mixamo. He's just like that space tech dude. He comes in with the T-Pose. It's all I downloaded. It's fine, but you can see our bones don't line up. So inside of our skeleton, we're gonna grab our null here that everything's grouped in. And you notice if you scale it up so it matches and then go back to frame zero, it undoes your scaling. So if you come in here and change it to object mode, scale that up and then go back and go back to frame zero, it stays. So make sure you scale it in object mode. Okay, now those are kind of lined up pretty good. All we have to do is right click our hips on our Mixamo guy and go to rigging, go to character definition, open manager and extract skeleton. And that's gonna work fine. And then we're gonna go to create solver. Now we have this solver and we're just gonna drag our skeleton onto the source file for that one. And we can hit play. 
on that. And now our guy is rigged to go crazy. But yeah, there it is. Look at that, Hulk. Smash! Gosh, I'm, oh, I'm telling you, the Oscar's coming my way this year, baby. Oscar? I barely know her. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, um, cool. Now we just, you know, put a cool material on him. It's like dope. Like something sick. Like, ooh, like one of my tr Tron materials from my material pack. Yeah, we grab that. We toss him on, toss it on that. He's just, oh, wow, what's it going to look like? Yeah, look at him. He's ripped. Look at this. I almost said the CUM gutters on that dude. Freaking Rick and Morty has ruined me for that. Oh, uh, gosh. Okay, is spelling it okay for YouTube? Look at that, though. There we go. Cool. Check it out. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so there you go. You know, it's not perfect. It's definitely tweakable. But for me, if I wanted to, someone asked me, hey, can you animate a guy doing a little Hulk smash animation or something like that? Uh, I'd be like, no, I can't. But now I can for just a hundred bucks. I can get a, and a, and a camera, of course. Um, you can. So hopefully that was useful. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see me smash next or whatever. But uh, yeah. Pretty cool entry point. There's a link for it below.